friend. <laughs> I really hope this is focused properly. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I'm actually using my camera, so that's good. I took off all my makeup and stuff before I realized that I needed to film a video. My tripod is sitting on my bed. Ah. And also like, wee, I'm sure that's shaking the camera. So <laughs> today I thought I would do like, I don't know, random life update slash I want to listen to Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Pentatonics. Pentatonics. I haven't listened to it yet, so I figured I would do a reaction to it. I don't own it yet. I think I'm just gonna wait for the whole album. And I don't know if anyone in my family has gotten it already. I don't know. So I'm just gonna like see if this is actually a virgin. Virgin? Virgin online. Yeah. So um, I don't know, it just reminded me, being tongue-tied, I just had an audition and a callback, actually, and I find out in T minus 52 minutes about the show, it's Moon Over Buffalo, which I'm sure you've heard of because of Paul Mary, it's a Ken Lutwig show, which is the same person who did Lend Me a Tenor, which is my first show. As you know, the last, like, four callbacks I've had haven't been successful, so... I don't know. I'm going to be involved in the show somewhat, no matter what, because my friend Chuck is stage managing it, and I want to be involved. The callback was super fun, and I think it went well, and I'm excited. <laughs> and the monologue I did, I did um, Worst Poetry by Sarah Kay, which I'm sure you've seen me do ten bajillion times. It's the one that's like, without question, you are the worst thing that's ever happened to my poetry. That one. Um... When, uh, typically, if I perform it like full out, it's four minutes, but the monologue is only supposed to be one minute, which I didn't really realize until today. So I cut it down and it seemed like really weird to me because, I mean, I've been doing it in full forever. I think I auditioned for While the Lights Were Out with that. Lights Were Out, so sophomore year. First show was sophomore year. Second show was sophomore year. Um, Francesca moved out. She's gone. Yeah. Um, I walked into the room yesterday after spring break and I was like, ah, on my side of the room, prison cell, ah! Um, let me see if I can just like turn you around. Oh, you're gonna be aiming at the wall. Just kidding. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, but her bed was lofted and now it's, it wasn't lofted and there's no mattress pad and like the mattress is just sitting there and the walls were blank. Um, and the desk was empty, like everything was totally bear on that side and I was like <laughs> um Polizzi's coming this weekend on Sunday um for an official visit it's called loot overnight she's gonna stay so I need to get everything fixed before she gets here right now it's kind of a mess but I have moved things around so it's not as bare over there also now my clutter is like on that bed so progress I cleaned up the dust bunnies there was a lot of dust bunnies I'm talking about her like she's dead she's not dead she's fine Ugh, yeah Ooh, I got a new makeup palette oh it's right here I'm very excited about this I used it today which you can't tell because I took it off hello it stopped recording and I had been talking for like another five minutes. So I guess I'm gonna have to backtrack. It's beautiful. Um, like the first thing Liv asked me was, how much was it? $20, so not bad. It's so good. Third time's a charm, I swear to God. No, I don't. Sorry, God. <laughs> the camera kept cutting off because I haven't deleted like the past three videos I filmed on this camera. Probably spent like 20 minutes talking now, but the camera's only recorded like five. And this is the third time that I've re-recorded, so I guess I'm gonna backtrack again. Okay, my beautiful makeup palette. Still very excited about it. I'm just a little annoyed at this camera. Also, I had really good footage of me burping. Now I don't have it anymore. I'm so sorry. Hopefully more burps will come. 
Bootiful. Bootiful. I swatch different colors every time. Let's go with this one. It's pretty. Ready? Just one swatch. Honestly, I'm in love. It's so beautiful. And those like orangish goldy tones bring out the green in my eyes, which I'm always pumped about so I don't have poop eyes like Popeye. No, I love makeup. I also love giraffes. April the giraffe is still pregnant. That poor thing has been pregnant since 2015. It's 2017, girl. Poor giraffe. Also now it's April and her name is April. So she better have that baby in April or else it's gonna be like really weird if she has it in May. I don't know. Okay, more makeup things. I went to Ulta and I spent, told my grandma I spent $50 and she was like, shock. Like that's so much money. I was like, it's a good thing I didn't tell you how much I actually spent because I actually spent $170. I got Tarte Shape Tape concealer so worth the $24. I got a new eyebrow pencil from NYX. I restocked on like black liner, white liner, normal stuff. I got a foundation and I've actually been wearing it. It's really, I've got, it's the NYX um, Total Control Dock Foundation and it could be better for my very dry skin. But I mean, I should fix my very dry skin rather than, and yeah. But it's good and it's buildable. And if I like don't want these like red bumps to be there, I can make them disappear. Number seven matches my skin perfectly and it's very exciting. Other things I've bought. Let's check if the stupid camera's still recording, I swear. Okay, it is. We're alive. I'm also so scared that this camera will fall over. Oh! Coming. Coming. Oh, there we go. I'm sure that'll be good. Good footage. Quality. Did I just spit? I spit in my audition today. Wait, have I talked about this? Is that the first thing I mentioned? Okay, whether or not, well, I had an audition and... <laughs> During the middle of it, I spit. Yep. And then during callbacks, I also spit. Actually, I'm not sure if it was spit or boogers, because I'm still sick. But like, we had an like, improv callback, and he was like, okay, now like, over dramatically cry. And I was over dramatically crying, and there was some liquid that was on my hand, and I don't know if it was from this hole or this hole. It wasn't from this hole. These holes. I wasn't actually crying. I was just like, ah! you know. Rachel probably thinks I'm insane, which is true. I'm insane. Okay. Speaking of things I bought, like I said, Francesca moved out. Um, and that side of the room looks like a prison. But I have gotten some things that um, I'm lacking since she's not here anymore. Um, one of those things is a printer. We can print at the library, but it's such a pain I don't want to. So I got a printer and printer paper and ink on Amazon. Go Amazon. Um, that'll be here like Friday. Oh, my calendar's over there now. <laughs> you got one burp. Yeah, like Friday or Saturday. And I also have a mattress pad and a foam topper for the other bed. Um, so when Polizzi comes this weekend and when my mom comes in May, they won't be sleeping on a disgusting college bed. I mean, they will be, but it won't feel like a disgusting college bed. I got a new heating pad. Don't tell my grandma I don't like it as much as the other one. The other one broke. But here's this one. It's really huge. It's more like a blanket, but like it's skinny. Um, it doesn't get as hot as the other one. That's the thing. I dislike about it. It still has a two hour timer and it turns off after two hours, which is good because I like sleeping with very warmness. I am reading this book in, so, okay, backtrack. Last year for the genre study, which apparently is due like tomorrow for the seniors. Sorry, friends. <laughs> really sorry, friends. Gross, gross, yuck, yuck, gross. Um, 
I wrote about magical realism and I really like enjoy magical realism. We're reading a book in my lit class called Haroon and the Sea of Stories and I had never heard of it before and I started reading it and I was like love it love it love it love it love it. I read it in the middle of the night one night when I couldn't fall asleep. Um, it's so good and I read more than I was supposed to read. And I looked it up and I was like, is this magical realism? Because like it kind of feels like magical realism, but like have I ever heard of it? No, yeah, it's magical realism and I love it and I recommend it. And it's a it's an easy read. It kind of feels like a children's story. It's very fanciful. I am 90 pages in and I love it. I got a blazer from a thrift shop that we go to in St. George and it fits me and I like it. Also, I promise your Christmas present is still coming. I am so excited. I can't, I'm not telling you what it is, but going through security at the airport, the guy who was like, like attending the, the like line before it goes in, um, he was like, is that a bag of balloons? And I was like, um, no. I'm a clown, but I'm not that much of a clown. That's not very much of a hint. That won't help you at all, but like, that's so funny. Also, I was in the Vegas airport working on your president, and like everyone around me is like drinking and gambling and smoking and like making out, and I'm over there like <laughs> working on your president. It's such an old lady-ish thing to be doing, especially in the Vegas airport. All will be revealed soon. I am so much further along than I was before. <sighs> Hi again. Not sure when that cut out, but I'm angry. Whatever. Um, yeah, not bad about it. There's some things I'm like, that's not, I mean, I guess they're probably trying to go outside of their like normal pentatonic thing. Like for the, for me, for me, for me. Like it didn't all just like cut out and was just Mitch. Like in, um, did to the Sugar Plum Fairies, <clears throat> but it was very good. Um, I'm assuming they'll probably get another Grammy for this, like just knowing Pentatonix and knowing what's happened. I think that'll be their fourth Grammy when they, when they win that one. Um, I'm excited for the rest of the album. Uh, I think every song needs more Avi. Also, in the end part that I don't know if it was recording or not, I think that Mitch was like beatboxing and not Kevin, but yeah, I don't know. I think I probably need time to formulate my full appreciation for this. Bohemian Rhapsody is iconic. Yeah, covering it is an undertaking for sure. Yes, I think I have rambled enough. Okay, once I get the room situated, hopefully by next week. I will give you a room tour. Left, what am I? Right? Right moccasin? What moccasin am I? <laughs> I'm the right moccasin, right? Right, right. We're just gonna assume I'm the right moccasin because I think I am.